Today's intermediate move is called the Gemini. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay. So first you're going to try this from the floor. Okay. So if your right hand is dominant, you're going to come to the right side of the pole. If your left hand is dominant, you're coming to the left side of the pole. And we'll be doing it from the floor first so that you can get your positioning correct before you try doing it from up there. So what I want to do is get my rib cage centered on the pole. My hands, outside hand, which is my right hand because I'm on the right side of the pole, is going to be the highest hand in my baseball grip. When I lift up into my helicopter, I'm going to bring my outside knee, which is my right knee, to hook the pole right behind the knee, right in the knee pit, and I want to squeeze tight, okay, behind that knee, and push my toe down. At the same time, the pole is situated right above my hip bone, okay, right where my stomach is, just where the soft part is above the bone, and I'm going to push my other leg down towards the ground, so you have a nice straight line with both legs. While I'm up in the air, I'm going to arch my back, okay, so that I lock my hip into place and I'm in a perfect position. Now it's really important that you get that leg right behind the knee pit so you get a good grip because this leg is going to be doing a lot of the work. You are going to feel it's going to help a lot if you can use your skin here. So if you haven't been doing moves with you know a sports bra on, you're going to want to do this now because you really want every bit of skin you have to help you keep yourself on the pole. If you're ready to do this from a standing position, um, I would suggest using a mat or some pillows or someone to help spot you if you're new to this, just so you don't hurt yourself. But what you're going to do is stand fairly close to the pole. You're going to have your outside hand high and you want it in line with eye level. Okay, so that's your top hand, your outside hand. You're going to tuck your knees, go into your helicopter first. And when you're up there, I want you to take your right leg, push your hips up, grab the pole. Now, I'm pushing hard down with my toe, locking that leg in position. I'm pushing my hip into the pole. The bone is right below. It's right across, just the inside of my stomach there. And this leg is pushing down, and I'm going to look for the floor so that I push my hips into the pole and lock myself in position. Now, I always do this with two hands to start off until you're comfortable with it. If you start feeling like you could start going hands-free, first hand you're going to get rid of is that outside hand. So for me, that's the right side. So what I'm going to do is go up into my Gemini. Once I feel I've got a good grip, I'm going to release that hand. And then I can release this one, but I'm still going to use the skin on the inside of my left arm to help me. Okay, hold the pole, and you can go right to there. Okay, bring the hands back up just underneath the knee pit and help yourself down, and that is your Gemini.